Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to show you how to make uh, the lightsaber effect with uh, After Effects CS6. So first the thing you have to do is import your footage. I got this footage right here of uh, of me swinging a lightsaber. Like this. Okay, like that. So, first thing you have to do is alright, go to import and then create a new white solid. So to change color, go over here and white solid, or you could just type in F F F F F F. Yeah. And then I give you the white solid. So what you do is you drag this white solid down here and put it on top of the clip that you want to animate. And then you go to transform, then you go to opacity, and drop the opacity until you can see the clip below it. Alright, and then let's get it to where Alright, so right here you, you can see lightsaber. If you can't see it that much, just drop the opacity less. Alright. Alright, so so all you have to do now is Get the pen masking tool. You could get uh, the rectangle tool, but I prefer the I prefer the pen tool. So then you shape around the lightsaber like this, and then on masks, go to mask one and put a and press a stopwatch in each one. Okay, and then next, frame by frame, go follow the lightsaber as it's moving around. So I'll just I'll show you guys a little bit how to do that right now. So drag it like this. Get it to where you want it. And then right here, right here. Uh it's easier to put uh it's e easier to animate if you have if it's yellow. So put some yellow tape on it so it you can track it better in post post-production which means you can like follow it better and you can see it better alright so I'll come back to, to you when I'm done alright so right now I I animated it fully so now when you press play it should look like this where it just keeps following it alright so next let's do this uh, next get get your white solid and duplicate it four times so press command if you're on a Mac press command uh, press command D to duplicate or you could just go up here where it says uh, go to yeah go to edit and go to duplicate all right. So next, what you do is you get all these and you get all the white solids and set a pre-comp. So go to so then go to go to layer and go to pre-compose and let's name this one light saber blade. All right, then press OK. And then you see all the white solids are in this one pre-comp. So, see? And then when you go back, it's this. Keep, yeah. Alright, so on this white solid, go to masks, and then go to mask feather. So, this one's going to be 5%. And we're going to do it little by little. So, this one's 5%, then this one right here is 15 percent and then this one this one 30 percent and this one 60 percent so 60 60 all right Go down. and then 
and then and then this is what it looks like there's a transparency behind it so when you press pl when you play it it's like this you cannot see the footage though so go up to uh go up to import go up to go to solid now we're going to import a black solid so let's press colors and then go down here or you can press zero 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 <gasps> for a uh, black solid and then it's right here so then go down here and put it to the bottom now there's a bl now it's a black background instead of transparency so now you are going to go to new project 8 and make sure the lightsaber blade precomp is on top of the on top of your footage and then so next go to uh go to mode which is which is down here so you could toggle between if you're on Mac, I think I don't know if it's different ones, but you could toggle between modes and uh parents. No, modes and whatever. So on the mode, go to lightsaber blade and go down to screen. Now the screen is now the screen is right here and the lightsaber is visible with the screen. So now go up to then go to then you go to color correction go to effect and col uh, color correction and then you go to color balance and right here you see is a bunch of shadow midtone highlight colors it's only red green and blue so say you want th I think this part's pretty cool say you want to be a a Sith you adjust this, you see how it's like that? Let's go a hundred on each. Hundred, hundred, hundred. See how it's all red? If you preserve luminosity, luminosity then it doesn't have that kind of uh, circular uh, light shape, it just like this. So it kind of depends on how far away from the camera you are right now. I don't need that, but if you wanna adjust it, just adjust this, and then say you wanna be a, and then say you wanna just be a Jedi. Same, same thing. You just you go to either green or blue. So so I hear you go to green balance. It's getting green. And if you go negative, I guess it turns blue or purple, whatever. So like this, like this, like this. You just in however way you want. See, that part is actually pretty good. That looks good. Alright, so that's how you make a lightsaber. I know I wasn't good at explaining, explaining it well. I, I'm not really good at explaining things. But that's how you make a lightsaber. So there you go. Um, I'll do some other tutorials later, and I'm going to try and make a bunch of videos, and, like, awesome videos. And this is a free trial of After Effects, so I'm going to try and get a full version when I move to uh, California. So, see ya.